Now that the substitute teacher's lifeless, unconscious body is in the closet, we are free to do as we please until she wakes up and calls the police on us. So, how shall we begin? We could potentially set a swimming pool on fire. Well, we could compile all our money together and invest in risky stocks. That could be fun. How about we learn about the Federal Reserve? How long do we have until she wakes up? Do we even have enough time to explain to the class the importance of the Fed? I mean, if she does wake up, I could just knock her over the head with a brick. Well, I suppose we could start here in this book. It says here that the Federal Reserve, also known as the Fed, was started in 1913 by Woodrow Wilson. His intentions of creating the system was to organize a better, safer, and more stable financial system. Sounds pretty simple. So it has to do with money. That's nice and all, but I think we could find a better way to spend our time. How important can the Federal Reserve be? Well, Olivia, you have to keep in mind that the Federal Reserve is the main bank of the United States. Their main job is making sure that your money is safe by regulating banks and fellow financial institutions. And not to mention, they also help the government with certain financial services as well as foreign official institutions. The list goes on for what the Fed does, but because we only have about three minutes, I gotta make it relatively short. Interesting. They sound like they do a whole lot. I'll have to ask you about it after the video is done. But. How does something like this affect someone on the daily? And what about someone who's still in high school? How does it affect them? Someone is full of questions today. But yeah, how does it affect someone on the daily? Well, right here it says that the Fed directly affects the economy, which, as you all know, affects everyone. Uh, it says, as inflation expands, the value of money lowers, and the Fed addresses this by increasing interest rates. When the country's job growth rate is sparse, and the economy is still, the Fed lowers interest rates to encourage economic growth. <laughs> I think all of us can appreciate lower interest rates. An example of a specific policy would be the monetary policy. This policy is there to stabilize the economic growth by inflation. If a country's economy grows at a really quick rate, the central bank would make sure that the monetary policy will narrow the money supply. Doing this lowers the chance of new money entering the system. Okay, there we go, we're done. Now let's go set that pool on fire. <laughs>